In Spring Boot, if you are not aware of how to handle background jobs, then you may end up creating a really bad user experience. Now, what do I mean by that? Not every task that you are performing in the backend needs to make your user wait. So let me give you a very simple example. Uh, whenever if you go to any net banking app or website and you say that you want to download the account statement in the form of a PDF in a given time range and you click on submit, you may have seen that the report does, doesn't generate instantaneously. It will tell you that, okay, in 30 minutes, the report will uh, reach your email, right? You need to check your email for the report. So what is happening is behind the scenes, there's a background job which is running which is collating your data in the time range that you have given to generate your account statement. Now, this is how background jobs happen in the backend. If you had done this synchronously, the user had to wait for the report, which would range from a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes. We do not know. So that would have ended up in a very bad user experience and we do not want it. In Spring Boot, instead, we should be using the Spring Boot's task scheduling and async capabilities to handle this kind of scenarios, basically to offload the long running task. So if you want to practice this kind of a project, which involves asynchronous processing or using task scheduling capabilities of Spring Boot, I've curated an ebook which does exactly that. It has many different project ideas. It has many different practical project ideas similar to what we just discussed. And with follow project ideas, it also has the steps to perform the project, the code snippets and so much more. So I would recommend you guys to download the ebook. The link to that is in the description. Thank you so much for watching.